Lindsay, am I glad you're here. There's only one more day until the sophomore dance, and I haven't decided what to wear yet. Well, do you like it? <laughs> Simple no would have been enough. <laughs> Lindsay, what's wrong? Am I that easy to read? <laughs> yeah, I have a sixth sense about these things. <laughs> what happened? I'm not going to the dance tomorrow night. Why not? Because Rob just dumped me. What? <laughs> okay, okay, calm down. Here. <laughs> Keep it. <laughs> now start at the beginning. Well, I went to Pinky's Pizza after school. When I got there, Rob was sitting in a booth holding an ice cream soda with two straws. So, what's wrong with that? There was someone else's lips on my straw. <laughs> well, did he tell you why he wanted to break up? He said he wanted to experience other relationships. And after I gave him the best three and a half weeks of my life. <laughs> well, if you ask me, you're better off without him. That's easy for you to say. You have a date. I'll be the only girl in school not going. I'll be branded a loser. I'll be shunned by the entire male population, eventually winding up in an old folks' home playing connect the dots with my liver spot. <laughs> Lindsay, you're overreacting. It's just a stupid dance. Certainly nothing to get excited about. Evie? Evie, look, I found the perfect dress for the dance. Really? Yeah, look. Oh, Mom, it's great. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> How did you do that? Well, you always told me to put away my junk. Junk? Lindsay, wouldn't you wear that dress to the dance? Simple no would have been enough. Poor Lindsay. Getting dumped right before major dance is the worst. I mean, you might as well not exist. Last year, this happened to Judy Hutchinson. Who's Judy Hutchinson? See? Hey, honey, I know this seems terrible right now, but trust me, in years to come, Lindsay will look back on this dance and laugh. Think so? Sure. Hey, I remember the ladies' choice dance where your mom got stuck asking Gar Heinrich. <laughs> Not funny, Vino. <laughs> What's a Gar Heinrich? Never mind. The biggest weenie in town. <laughs> well, second. <laughs> Besides, I felt sorry for him. He was always the kind of kid that got picked last for everything. So you asked him to go with you? Yeah, I had to. He was the only one left. <laughs> but enough about me. Let's talk about Lindsay's problem. Yeah. There's got to be somebody she can go to the dance with. You know, Evie, I bet there's someone right under your nose and you don't even know it. Right under my nose? Hey, you may be right. Well, I know Lindsay likes tall, dark, and handsome. But she's gonna have to do with short, pale, and presentable. <laughs> hey, it worked! Kinda puny, though. more like it. <laughs> now all I gotta do is walk and talk like a guy. <laughs> well, howdy, little lady. <laughs> nah. I've got it. <laughs> Yo, Lindsay! You want to be my chick or what? <laughs> no, you don't hear much of that in Marlowe. 
I know. <laughs> hey, babe. What you sign? <laughs> How about those Dodgers? Think they'll win the Super Bowl? <laughs> hey, this just might work. know me, but my name is Stevie. <laughs> and I just want to let you know that I think you're the hottest looking chick I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, sorry, Mrs. Selkirk. <laughs> is Lindsay home? I can't wait till the dance tonight. I hope Stevie's over his cold by then. What makes you think he has a cold? Well, his voice was so nasally. I think a nasally voice is kind of sexy. <laughs> Evie, what if I accepted too easily? I mean, I don't want him to think I'm desperate. Lindsay, you are desperate. <laughs> Good point. No, I'm sort of nervous. I mean, I've never even met this guy. For all I know, he could be an axe murderer. Or a psycho killer. Or worse. He could be in the chess club. Listen, if you're that worried about it, I'll have Chris take his car and you can ride with me. After all, Stevie did say he was going to meet you there. Oh, thanks. That'll be great. Wait a minute. How'd you know he was going to meet me? Um. You told me. I did? Sure. Boy, you are nervous. <laughs> I know. I know. I mean, the guy has it so easy. All he has to do is ask you out and buy the corsage. Yeah, well, there's... Buy the corsage? My, what a handsome couple. <laughs> How would you like to preserve this moment forever with a portrait by Applegate? Huh? Good to see you. All right, uh, just stand right over here. You're right here, sweetheart. And you stand right there on the mark. That's it. <laughs> Sit up. Smile. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Now, I'm going to take a portrait, a picture of you both, that you'll be proud to show your grandchildren. <laughs> now, the complimentary individual shot. <laughs> oh, uh, punks. Hey, this place looks great. Evie, look at all the couples. I hope he gets here soon. Everyone's staring at me. Hey, look, there's Chris. Why don't you sit between those girls? That way no one will know your hair alone. Okay. <laughs> ah, you look great. Wanna dance? Sure. Um... But first, I have to powder my nose. Okay, I'll meet you by the punch. Looking. Sorry I'm late, but I was busy working on my Harley. Had to rotate the tires. All four of them. Stevie? In the flesh, babe. I'm glad to finally meet you. I was starting to think you weren't coming. <laughs> weren't coming? And miss out on a night with the hottest fox in Marlowe? <laughs> Here, this bud's for you. Oh, Sage. Oh, Stevie, you really shouldn't waste your money on such trifles. Tell me about it. What? Um, tell me about yourself. In a minute. 
first there's someone I really want you to meet. Who's that? My best friend, Evie. I'll go get her. Don't go away. Uh, uh, I can't. <laughs> Sorry. What's your going, pal? Chris. I mean, <coughs> Chris, my man. Do I know you? Uh, no. I mean, yeah, yeah. I was down at the beach one day, checking out the chicks, and I saw you surfing. Ah, you surf. Did you hang ten? Uh, sure. Ten, eleven, whatever it takes. What kind of board you got? Uh, a blue one. Hey, not bad, huh? Yeah, if you like him chunky. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, man. I, I've been pumping up. <laughs> Listen, I gotta get back to the old ball and chain, so uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> Chris, there you are. It's about time. You know I've been stuck here talking to some skinny guy with a nasal condition? <laughs> How long does it take to powder our nose? I'm sorry. I just wanted to look perfect for you. Huh. Well, in that case, uh, I've never seen your nose look more beautiful. That's <laughs> yes. Evie, there you are. I really want you to meet my date. She'll have to meet him later, Lindsay. <laughs> no, Chris, I better go with her. But, Evie, what about our dance? Well, go ahead. Start without me. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, really wanted you to meet my friend Evie. You two just keep, keep missing each other. Maybe some other time. <laughs> uh, sorry we can't dance closer, but I think I'm catching a cold. Uh, <laughs> oh, listen, Lindsay, I gotta run. Why? Um, because I gotta get home and shave. You shave? That's so smooth. What kind of razor do you use? A daisy. Did you say daisy? Did I say daisy? <laughs> I meant daily. Yeah, I shave daily. Sometimes twice. A daily. Well, I better run. You have to. I had a lot of fun tonight. Yeah, yeah, me too. Well, I guess this is it. I guess so. <laughs> Great dance for what? We only dance for one note. Yes, but it was our note. We'll all go get our coats. Evie, this has been the best night of my life. Stevie was such a gentleman. When he said goodnight, he shook my hand. My parents are gonna love him. Your parents? Lindsay, don't you think you're getting a little carried away? I mean, you might not ever see him again. Are you kidding? I have to see him again. How come? I'm in love. So now Lindsay thinks she's in love with me. I mean him. Anyway, when I told Mom, she nearly blew a fuse. Evie, I'm really surprised you do something that foolish. You mean lying to Lindsay? I mean telling your mom. Just kidding. Look, honey, I know your intentions were, were good. Yeah. Just my luck, Lindsay finds me irresistible. 
Well, if you don't find a way to be less irresistible, you may have to marry her. Dad. I know this is serious, but I'm sure you'll straighten everything out. Just in case, though, let me know your china pattern. Marry her, right. Hey. Wait a minute. Hey, babe. It's Stevie. Gee, you look nice. <laughs> uh, you do too. That's a nice blouse you're wearing. <laughs> Thanks. Actually, I borrowed it from my friend Evie. Oh. I hope she doesn't get upset about that ketchup stain. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll just put it back in her closet before she notices. <laughs> I had a good time last night. So did I. He did? <laughs> well, great. Why don't we get married? Married? Yeah. It'll be a kick. I don't know what to say. This is so sudden. I never dreamed you'd ask me something like that. It's okay. I don't mind if you... Yes. Don't... What? Oh, I know we're sort of young, but it'll be so romantic. We'll be like Romeo and Juliet, except you won't wear tights and we won't kill ourselves. <laughs> oh, we'll have a wonderful life living on my father's ranch in Death Valley. Death Valley? Yeah, he's got 2,000 head. Cattle? Lizards. Lizards? Well... This all sounds wonderful, but my doctor said, you know, with my fair skin, I shouldn't be exposed to the desert air. Oh, don't worry, really you'll don't be inside. Me. I got you a job stoking the oven down at Lucy's Lizard on a Spit. <laughs> Listen, maybe we are kind of rushing into this. I've really got to go. Wait, I haven't even told you about my mom yet. She's up for parole in a couple of weeks. <laughs> women. <laughs> um, how could I have been so wrong? I mean, I really thought Stevie was different. Believe me, he was different, all right. <laughs> I should have known he wasn't for me. I mean, those beady little eyes, that pasty complexion. <laughs> the way he slouched all the time. <laughs> yeah, but he was witty. And charming. And had that sexy nasal voice. Evie? All right, the guy was a jerk. What a week. I mean, first Rob dumps me, and next thing you know, I'm basting lizards on a spit. Cheer up, Lindsay. I mean, there's a lot of girls out there who have never even had a boyfriend. You had two in one week. That's true. I never thought of it like that. Thanks, Evie. Hi, Mrs. G. Hi. Bye, Mrs. G. See you later. Bye. Bye. What's with her? Oh, she just broke up with Stevie. All this because of a breakup? Boy, one more disastrous relationship, we won't be able to wipe the smile off her face. <laughs> How's Stevie handling all this? You know, being a guy wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. Really? Yeah. I mean, I bought the tickets, the corsage, I showed her a great time, and she dumps me. I don't know. Somehow I feel so... used. In 30 minutes, live from Mile High Stadium, Western Division rivals clash when Mike Piazza and the boys in blue battle Dante Bichette and the Colorado Rockies. Dodgers baseball, tonight at 6, here on Channel 5. L.A.'s baseball station. But first, warm up with Vin Scully and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Up next, 